Yo, yo, what's poppin'? YouTube is Tone Vlogs, and I'm back with another video. Oh my goodness, I feel like I haven't been back in, I don't know how long. It's been a while. Um, I kind of went on vacation because uh, my cousin is having a, a baby and stuff. So, you know, she had a baby shower and everything. So, I kind of took the trip. So, what's up to some of my family members I haven't seen in a while. It, it's kind of weird being back since I really haven't been making videos. So, I kind of feel a little rusty. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn. I haven't made a video in like 10 plus days and it just feels weird being back and talking about behind the camera and everything. So today what I wanted to talk about was something that I've kind of learned, you know, being away from home and taking a break from certain things in my life. Due to the fact that I was majority of my time was spent hanging around my family, I, you know, picked up on some things within my mental because where I was at, everything was kind of slowed down. Like life wasn't really fast, like everything was you know, very slow, everything was very far away from where they lived, you know, so I had a lot of time to sit with myself and my thoughts. And one of the things that came across my mind is that, you know, in life, we do all these things so fast and expect a result just as fast as we do these things. As in, if I'm making these videos every day, I can't expect results to come back to me every single day that I do these things because I'm doing this for the long term, you know what I'm saying? We have to be patient, we have to understand that it's all divine timing. If you believe in God, you believe in the fact that I'm going to do these things now so I can be financially stable in the long run. You know, when it comes to finances, we tend to rush things. We want the fast money. We don't understand that everything that uh, that we get in our lives take time. And that's one thing I didn't really, you know, work on throughout my whole life because I've been impatient my whole life. I love the fast money. You know, when I was a kid, I was always selling stuff and everything. So I have to get used to being patient and that's one thing life is going to teach you is how to be patient and be humble you know understand that god's going to give you these things when you deserve it not when you feel like you deserve it you know sometimes you know when we don't do godly things or things that um god approves of you know sometimes we make money that we shouldn't sometimes we make money that we don't need in our lives and then we end up spending it on dumb things but if you walk the path with god we'd understand that the things that we want in our life take time and everything takes time. And I had to learn that I had to be very patient within everything that I do. What's that beeping sound? Hold on, I hear a beeping sound, be right back. So back to what I was saying was, everything we do in our life requires patience. We can't be out here trying to rush into everything and just figure things out all at once. And that's the problem with this generation is we've seen so many people blow up off the internet and we've seen so many people make fast money off social media that we embedded in our minds that oh you know I can make money whenever I want or I don't have to work as hard but in reality behind closed doors these people are working their butts off they're working hard every day I have to earn these things anything I want in my life anything I want to gain out of life requires hard work it's not gonna be oh I'm just gonna post one YouTube video and blow up some people do that some people do that I was really working my ass off making all these videos you know thinking about the videos that i'm gonna make before i make them you know come up and coming up with all these ideas and i'm not getting the results that i wanted you know i have 40 some subscribers and i'm like holy crap like i'm putting in all this work but i'm not getting the results i want so guess what i'm gonna have to work even harder i'm gonna have to figure things out within these videos i'm gonna have to drop more content within our lives we have to go even harder we can't just say oh i'm working hard and i'm not getting anything so now i'm gonna stop no you have to tell yourself you know what if i'm not getting the results i want i have to work even harder than i was before and that's why people at the top the one percent they're always the one percent the reason why they're the 1% because they work harder than the 99% of people that think they're working as hard as them. But in reality, they're just not. And that's the thing with this generation is like, I don't get it. I don't get why people just think they don't have to do anything besides, you know, flex on the gram all day, think they're the shit. We all flex on the internet. We all want attention. It comes a time when we get older, we're going to see who's really putting in the work. And that's the thing I always tell people. It's like some people might flex on the gram all day, but tell me where they're going to be on 30, 30, 40 years. How, are they going to be even financially stable? Like this is the thing with our generation. We're, this generation whew, is going to figure it out the, the hard way that that, you know, you can't be living in your parents' house forever and you have to find ways to get money. You have to find ways that you're going to work hard. You got to find your hobby. And I'm not even the one to talk. You know what I'm saying? I still live with my mom and stuff. I have to find ways to get out of here. That That's all it really is. And when we take the time out of our days, you know, to waste our time 
and not do what we're supposed to do, what are we living life for? You know what I'm saying? Like, what are we doing these things for if they're not benefiting you in the future? And that's what I kind of sat back and realized, like, you know, I was working very hard and I limited a lot of my distractions, you know, but I didn't get the results I wanted. I gained more confidence. I gained more clarity on what I wanted to do, but it wasn't all there yet. But then I had to realize that, you know, everything in life is, is, comes with the cost. You no, know, you're gonna have to lose things in your life to gain things in your life. That's what I've always understood within my life is that when I gain something, an o another door that I can unlock and open up, another door has to close. So if I want money, there has to be something I gotta close. If I want, you know, to be successful, wealthy, a door has to close for in order for that door to open. So maybe within myself is I have to be patient on these doors and live out my life and understand that there's lessons in my life I have to learn in order to open up these new doors. God knows that I'm not ready to lose something in my life to gain something in my life, you know? And that's what people, that's what people will never tell you is that when you, this, this is, let me tell you guys something. When you manifest things in your life, this is what they never, ever, ever told you. And I've never heard this from anybody. And this is all from my life experience. Every single thing that I've manifested in my life, I ended up losing something before that manifestation came into my art to my reality i had to lose something in order to gain and i'm going to tell you right now is be careful what you ask for because you just might get it and you could regret what you ask for in the long run and you never know that's why my mom always told me you know be careful what you ask for you just might get it the things that you ask for in your life comes at a price god is going to take something out of your life in order for a new door to open and you have to be patient for these doors because some of the things we ask for a year later, you might not even want that. And you can sit back and be like, damn, I remember I wanted it that bad, but I'm glad I stayed patient. I'm glad I stayed down and I got something better. God will give you some of these things in your life to show you that you don't need them. It's what you need more than what you want. Some people don't need a million dollars in their life. Some people don't. You might want it, you know, but you might not ever get it. Some people might not work hard to earn it. You know, you, you really have to prove to yourself and God that you really want these things to walk in the path of God before you can get these things. And it's not going to be handed to you. It, it will never be handed to you. And you're always going to have to work hard. You know, I, I really don't have a lot on my mind besides the fact that I got to stay patient and anybody watching this has to stay patient. But this is just a quick video just to, you know, not, oh, this is just a low quality video. I'm just going to throw up for content. This was more of a video that, you know, things that were on my mind when I was out there. One of the videos I wanted to drop was talking about, you know, slowing life down. I feel like that's gonna be a really great video. Please comment and please subscribe. I'll, you know, I will greatly appreciate that. You know, at the end of the day, life's not easy. Be patient and check me out in the next video. Peace.